We bless and thank the Lord for His word. He has been speaking and ministering to us. ആഴ്ചതോറും കർത്താവ് നമ്മളോട് സംസാരിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന അദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെ വിലയേറി വചനങ്ങൾക്കായിട്ട് ദൈവത്തെ സ്തുതിക്കുന്നു we heard from the book of deuteronomy and we also heard from the book of avartha pusthathilum adu pole thane onna korindir pusthathilum namukku kelkkan kaiyilla the example of the, the the church in the wilderness in the old testament and the church of jesus christ marikkumulla sabhaye kurichu udaharanatheyam pudhiya neema sabhaye kurichu namukku kaanuvan kaiyilla and we see very clearly the burden of the apostle paul for the church pudhiya neemathulla sabhaykkayulla apostle paulus inde bharatha namakku valare vyaktamaayi ivide kaanvan kazhiyunnu and we see that reflect tande ella lekhanangalum adu pradifalichittunnu we have seen it for the ebrai lekhanathil nam nammal kandu korinthiya lekhanathil nam nam kaanugundayi and we also have seen it from adebola mattulla veda bhagangal adu nam kandullo we heard several kaiyaichayam pala karyangal nam kelkkundayi we are living in a time the moolamaya karyangal nashtapetta oru samayathana nam jeevichu kondirikkunnathu you know we need idha nam manasilakkandundu christian jeevathana has become inna adu christian jeevatha manushukku pala karyangalai maarittundu you know christianity has become many things christianity in manushana pala karyangalai maarittunda and as we saw they was in the word that christianity is christ christianity christo thaneyanu nam kaanugundallo you know and it's my prayer this window i raavala samayam prarthana edana that we may hear the god the parishuddhaalmana dev shabdathe nam kelkanam endana endra prarthana that we may be in the house of god is kartavana bahumanam koduthonde namukku deva bhavanathil aayirikkanam we are not in a classroom we are not in a lecture hall we are not in an auditorium nam aayirikkunna oru manushya shabdam kelkunnal classroom lo lecture hall lo auditorium lo alla nal nam ivide aayirikkunna deva bhavanathil aanu and so our attitudes mentalities will have to be brought in line with the god nam anushikinnaya devathinte chindagathiyoda nammada chindagathiyala manobhavam onnai konde nam devasanadhil aayirikkanam so i would agarana orarthey utsahipikkan aagrahikkunnathu right at the beginning that we aarambathil thana parivan aagrahikkunnathu we also uh, humble ourselves ദൈവം ഭാവം നമ്മെ താഴ്ത്തി ദൈവത്തെ ബഹുമാനിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് താഴ്മയോടെ നമുക്ക് ദൈവശബ്ദത്തെ കേൾക്കാം ആത്മീയ ജീവിതത്തിൽ ഗൗരവബോധമുള്ളവരോട് ദൈവം വളരെ ഗൗരവമേറിയ ഒരു വചനമാണ് സംസാരിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് നാം ജീവിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന സമയം everything is become inna ella entertainment manoranjanathinte karyamayittu maariyirikkana aaradhana karyamayalum whether it is uh, message everything is centered around man and man's pleasure manushane kendrigarichathum manushyante prasadathinu vendi ullathana but god in this present samayathe karthavu he is in need of a thanike oru janam aavashyamana adu devathinte aavashyamana that he should have a people and they are wishing in and through whom him uh, whom Our god they move on to go so let's understand this we are here to be god in the avishyate sandhikkunnadinaayittaanu we have many needs in our lives but primarily we are in pradhaniyamaayittu nam ivide irikkunnathu devathinte avishyate sandhikkunnadinaayittaanu so we see that we need to be delivered from many attitudes and mentalities in which we are grown in our christian life nam jeevathilulla pala chindagadigal nam manobhavangal nam vidvikkapadandathunda
Yes, so as we heard even last week, the ball, eh? many things from the, the from the history of God's people in Corinth. Paul, Paul relates the Corinthian church with the church you know so that tells us something very much deeper than what we think about you know their their life in the wilderness is also our life today in the Lord Jesus Christ. As we heard, wilderness is not an unproductive place, but a fruitless place. Now that's the way man's mind is about it. But in God's divine economy, Wilderness is a place God produces something after his own heart. You know, he would make men and women to be qualified for his kingdom. Bring men and women into the measure and stature of Christ. So we saw in the past couple of weeks, you know, the greatest need for us to realize that trials and testings and challenges in this wilderness is not for, you know, wasting of our days and years, but it is to produce the measure of Christ in our lives. Oh, we saw from the life of uh, the Israelites in the Old Testament. As we heard even last week, they were brought out of the land of Egypt. Positionally, they are out of the kingdom of darkness. They have gone through justification <laughs> by faith. But personally, there were many things which are yet to be... Uh, positionally, they were in the same place. But uh, 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 subjectively, a work had to be done in their life. So positionally they were in the kingdom of heaven. They were on a supernatural ground. But subjectively there were so many inconsistencies and contradictions in their lives. And as we heard many were these inconsistencies. You know, many contradictions. But we heard God cannot accept and settle down for that You know, God wants to work in their lives. As we heard from the book of Deuteronomy, He said, I have brought you here that you may know what is in your heart. I made you humble so that, that, that you may know. You know, so God wanted to change them from themselves to himself. So, we hear this serious warning of the Apostle Paul in the New Testament. We also heard last week, spiritual seeing and spiritual hearing is a very important thing in the life of every believer. You know, spiritual seeing 
and spiritual hearing. And we saw the example of the children of Israel. In the wilderness they had the tabernacle of Moses. Which is called the Ten of Testament. And there were two things involved in the tabernacle there. One was that Christ or the, 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 the tent of the testimony which is uh, the center ah, of their lives. You know the tabernacle was in the center. Ah, and all their dwellings they were ah, around the tabernacle. They all faced ah, the tabernacle. So that is again allegorically or symbolically speaking about the centrality of Christ in the life of every believer. You know it was something visible there. But remember that although it was physical there. It was also spiritual for the children of Israel. You know, we read in the book of 1 Corinthians. Yes. Paul says concerning the Old Testament. Concerning the Old Testament church, where everything was physical, it was also spiritual. It was not devoid of the spiritual. The natural had an, a meaning and an application in the inward man. So we read here in chapter 10 and it all eat the same spiritual meat, meat. and did all eat talking about they all ate the spiritual meat. but we know that they had natural meat they, the Lord provided them with manna which was natural but it speaks about spiritual and did all drink the same spiritual drink so the water that died, the provision of God is a spiritual drink for they, they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them and our that was Christ. So we need to realize though the things were natural and physical then, God wanted them to have an application of that inwardly in their life. God wanted them to come into a relationship with them. But as the scripture says in verse 5, but with many of them, God was For they were overthrown in the wilderness. So here we see Paul saying that this is what happened to the <laughs> church in the wilderness. You know, we therefore see that the tabernacle was the center which is the picture of Christ being the center for us. Now let's get this real more than an intellectual, natural, You 
you know let's understand the spirit manaslaka you know just as the tabernacle was a samagamana udara ona naduvil ayirunnathu pole you know christ ought to be christ to ayirikana nammude jeevithathinte kendram for them to behold the tabernacle was necessary to move on avare the lakshyathilek munbottu povunnathina aa samagamana udathil kannugal vekkanda avashyam ayirunnu you know beholding the tabernacle was necessary for their movement to go pogunnathina avare kanna aa samagamana udarathil vekkanda anivaryam ayirun so they avare onward the yatra the order of god depended upon also on the trumpets which are blown at the end of the tabernacle ആ സമാഗമ നടത്തുന്ന വാദിക്കൽ പുറപ്പെടുവിച്ച കാഹാള ശബ്ദത്തിൽ ഇതേക്കുറിച്ചുസ്തകത്തിൽ നാം കാണുന്നുണ്ട് നമ്മുടെ ആത്മീയ യാത്രയിൽ ദൈവ ശബ്ദം ദൈവത്തെ കാണുന്ന ദൈവ ശബ്ദം കേൾക്കുന്നത് വളരെ അനിവാര്യമാണ് മീൻസ് ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് ഇസ്ട്രുമാണ് നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിന്റെ കേന്ദ്ര ബിന്ദു കർത്താവ് നമ്മോട് സംസാരിക്കുന്ന തന്റെ ശബ്ദം ഇനോ ദ ഹോളി സ്പിരിറ്റ് is the voice കർത്താവായിനെ കുറിച്ചുള്ള ആ ശബ്ദം പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവിന്റെ yes that is what a problem is very important you know why many people do not have a life in the life of their life in the car saints any kind of religious activity of coming going attending bible studies giving our tithes all these things will never help us to progress on to our destiny we understand that non activity karya paribadigalum karyangal onnu aalme jeevathil munnerna nammale sahayikkilla yes so please so they are careful the place of the sthanam and the place of Parashat the holy Dhalma spirit Dhalma. in a very realistic and practical way in our inward man Namada is important we should carry a very yathartamala nele kaanapadenda anivaryamana you know now we all can say well i believe in the lord i love the lord he knows that i love and you know how far have you have gone ekunnunde ende jeevitham karthavilana naan jeevithathe nalgi ennokke parayan ennal etra thonam nam munbottu poyittunnu namukku ariyam so when i say place sanathe kurichu parayumbol oh you will settle down and say yes this is god's place in your life sanam undanu but yet the distance you are covered in your journey today in your life would tell you what place he has got in your life sanate kaanikkunu etrathol ningal aalmiya jeevithathil munnil munkottu poittunda ennadana you know so it is a reality for us where we are in our journey nammade aalachathilekkul aalmiya adal nam evideyanu kaanikkunnathu adana kurichu namukku ketra truth thamme thai kiya ippada so this is anivaryaman christuvinte sthanam of christ is he in our jeevithathil kendramaano is uh, is he where i have focused myself yeah mera kendra aur mere jo mere so ka kendra is he that matters to me more than anyone and anything in my life matter alla matter upari aite kartavano enikku pradhanyam arhikkunnathu and the praise of the holy sthanam aano means his voice can be heard only through the holy sthanam kal parishuddhalmavalude maatrame kelkkuvan kariyullu now these two things are mandatory in our lives if you are to ever make progress and reach the destiny in our munneri aa lakshyathil etti cherangal ee rendu karyam namukku olivaakkan paadillathada now coming back to the prophetic church we saw how god sent paul to corinth corinthia patanathilekku deiva god sent him to corinth engena aichu nam kanduvallo and uh, he was not very keen 
to stay on because he saw അവിടെ ഒരു വലിയ ഉപദ്രവം തനിക്ക് സഹിക്കേണ്ടി വന്നതുകൊണ്ട് അവിടെ തുടർന്ന് താമസിക്കുവാൻ തനിക്ക് താല്പര്യമില്ലായിരുന്നു നഗരമായിരുന്നു എന്ന് നാം കേട്ടുവല്ലോ വളരെയധികം ജനം ഉണ്ട് എന്ന് ദൈവം പൗലോസിനോട് അറിയിച്ചു അതുകൊണ്ട് അവിടെയാണ് സഭയുടെ ആരംഭം കുറിച്ചത് You know, after a few years, years, during the five years of the absence of Paul in Corinth, you know, grievous decline happened in the church. Which we see explained in the letter. You know, we, as we saw it very clearly, we saw it very clearly. in the first corinth chapter 15 how he says when i came to you first how i shared with you and you accepted it you believed it and i hope that you what that you what you believed would ever become in uh, uh, in your karya ningalde jeevathil verthama agarada ennadayirunnu than parnadinte saaram you know and there was a fear in the heart he said the gospel which was then preached anna ningalude pangu vecha suvishesham yes which they believed so paul with all his burden shared paulus avrode veliya bharathode suvisheshatha pangu vechu but as we know the pole the foundation which was a adisthanam അവരുടെ മധ്യ നിലപ്പിന്റെ അടിസ്ഥാനം അവരുടെ ജീവിതം അടിസ്ഥാനം അടിസ്ഥാനത്തിന് മേലെ അവർ കൊണ്ടുവരുവാൻ തുടങ്ങി ആൻഡ് സോ ആസ് വി ഹേർഡ് ബ്രോക്കൺ ഹാർഡ്ലി വിത്ത് ടിയേഴ്സ് ഹൃദയത്തോടും കണ്ണീരോടുമാണ് ഈ ലേഖനം തന്നെ എഴുതുവാൻ തുടങ്ങിയത് Yes now that's what he says I would like to turn to that and move on today second Corinthians Rand Corinthians <coughs> Verse 4 Randa adhyayam nala vakya For out of much affliction and anguish of heart I wrote unto you വളരെ കഷ്ടവും മനോവ്യസനവും ഉണ്ടായിട്ട് വളരെ കണ്ണുനീരോട് കൂടെ ഞാൻ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എഴുതിയത് ഞാൻ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എഴുതിയത് ആദ്യത്തെ ലേഖനത്തെ കുറിച്ചാണ് താൻ പറയുന്നത് വളരെ വേദനയോടും കണ്ണുനീരോടും മനോവ്യസനത്തോടും യുനോ ബിക്കോസ് ഹി വാസ് എ സ്പിരിച്വൽ So he said you may have 10000 the ayil upadesha upadeshta kan marunda gilam yanu alathiya pidavagum so we can see the father's heart and that agony in the heart of the apostle the pidavinde manovesana thana apostle paulus ilude kaanunnathu because when he saw avan thana avare kandappol you know their lives were not avarude jeevangal christu il munnerunna oru nilayil aayirunnilla they have been brought to christ from valare bhayangaramaya oru which we saw last vachathalathilana avar christu il kondu kondu varappettathu but now in a matter of five years we see them you know losing out those things that they are kondu varaya karyangal avare jeevathil nashtamaakki kaniyathaana nam kaanunnathu so he returns to the Again, foundation and at the end like the ringa samsarik needed to be once again kanna nirode thagarna hrudayathode yes and as we heard Now, previously, previously, paul was approached by a family of a kudumbam aanu ee karyangale paulus ne arichathu sharing with him what was really happening sabhayil sambhavichundirunna karyangale aa kudumbam aanu thannodu arichathu yes 
there were many things to be addressed in his letter there were many things to be addressed in his letter yes almost eleven important matters they were not sure what is going on in that they yes in such elementary ah. matters adisanavaramaya karyangal avarku oru urappillayirun you know and isn't it strange that these saints even in elementary matters they were not able to see wrong and right mind of god and that which is not the mind of the karyangale seri endanu thetra endanu devathinte chindagri endanu manas endanu avarku manasilakkan kazhinjathu valare anyamaya namukku thonunnille you know they were not able to see the mind of the spirit and the mind of the natural almond chindayum adu pole jadathinte chindayale avarku ver dirichariyuvan kazhinjilla in that means that they have lost sight christian mailulla avarade aa kaalshayam kannu or nashtamaakiyathu and therefore they could not understand the mind of the spirit they could not understand it now how true that even today in the life of god is it is not only a reality but though we all have the foundation of christ we all have the foundation of christ in our lives many a time even in elementary matters karyangalil palappolum മനസ്സിലാക്കുകയാണ് of a spirituality which is our prayer almiyadilek nam kadannu povu we go in the way of a spirituality after the flesh aur aatmikta ke liye hum jo hai wo shari ke anusar karte yes now this was what was happening idana korindil sambhavichu kondirunnathu the reason was they lost sight adinte kaaranam christuvulla avare kanna vedijilichathayirun and the letter of paul to corinthians is a largely an ascent to these questions ah, or situation ah korinthian sabhayil undayirna chodyangal avade undayirna sahajaryangal kola uttaramayirunnu is an answer to these questions or situations yes so in answering these situations uttaram nalgunnadilude listen carefully kalkka in answering this situation in the sahajaryangale kurichu than uttaram nalgunnadilude paul is bringing in christ and he crucified christuvine crucificate christuvine aanu avaru umbil kondu vannathu yes now that is what we are doing there are so many almost 11 there are so many almost 11 important issues here karyangale than abhisambodhana cheyunnundu and right at the beginning he says what i want to say is what i want to see amongst you is christ nal ningalde madhyil nan kaanuvan aagrahikkunnathu christuvineyum krushikkapatta christuvine maatramaanu you know and uh, we see that in the lives of god people kaanumbol we find this in the life of Avada each one of us namukku kaanuvan kariyum even in in small elementary matters we are so confused sthana paramaya cheriya karyangalle naam aashaya kulappam ullavaraanu we are not able to namukku karyangale grahikkuvan kariyunnilla manasilaakkuvan kariyunnilla the mind of the spirit chinde manasilaakkuvan kariyunnilla and so easily we are drawn away from the flesh valare eppathil naam aa prakrutiya karyangalekku valichu irikkapadugiyana you know this is what happened in the sabha il sambhavichathu and paul was very concerned about he sahajariyangale kuriche paulos tigachu വളരെ ആവശ്യമാണ് 
അതുപോലെ ക്രൂസിന്റെ മേൽ യെസ് ഇനോ വെൻ യു റീഡ് ത്രൂ ദ ലെറ്റർ ഓഫ് വെറുതെ എഴുതി ആപ്പോസ്തോലന പൗലോസിന്റെ ലേഖനത്തെ വായിക്കുമ്പോൾ ഇനോ ഈവൻ ഇൻ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് chapter itself a corinthian lehanathinte aadyathe adhyayathil thanne adhola mattulla adhyayangal in no letter the name of christ is so continually mattulla ella lehanathilulla adhiyamayitte christuvinte naamathe eduthe eduthe ivada parayunda it occurs less than not less than nine times in the first one or two chapters one to nine verses of the book of christ the name of nine times we have been used ah nothing less than nine times you know so we see ivada namu moonu levelana nalgikkana kaanuvan kariyum so throughout the letter the lehana thil aagamana in every poor person of them in every poor situation it is as to paul was challenging them Christ bringing in christ when avare than vellu vilikkayir yes he was bringing in christ as we heard previously christian life is christ jeevitham christuvan and this is what we are saying idana than valare unnal koduthu parayuvan thalpariyapettathu saints in our namma the marathum yathre vishuddhan mare as we are moving on to the next stage we are going to go remember christ has to be the our life is the kendra bindu christu ayirikana so when paul was bringing christ into every situation in our sahajanathilekku paulus kondu vanna paul paul was challenging the devam vellu vilichathu to the very foundation of christ was all the lord is there now we know one thing in our lives when we read this we are born again now we know one thing in our lives when we read this we are born again now snan we are baptized some of us desire for the holy spirit but snanam prabhichavarana and we are baptized in the holy spirit and look at your life see us now you know god പോലെ <laughs> and if you are hearing me by the spirit today you will say yes this is also this my condition kendri ger jor jeevitham nashtam aayirikunu nammal nammada jeevithathe nu vijindanu nokkal nammada jeevithathe sambhavichirundu nam kaanum you know we can speak like christ you know has christ a place in the sanam nu namukku parayuvan kayi masika hamare zindagi mein kis tarah i have been placed on the sanam nu namukku parayuvan kayi but the question is that what place എന്നാൽ എന്ത് സ്ഥാനമാണ് തനിക്ക് നമ്മൾ ഉള്ളത് നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിലുള്ളത് നമ്മുടെ ആത്മ മനുഷ്യന്റെ ശബ്ദത്തെയാണ് നാം ശ്രമിക്കാറുള്ളത് yes so the prasanya varigana karyamana devam nammale sahayikkum aarattu manasilakkunnathu it is so important that christ be the center and we also hear Christ what he is our life in the center of our life and that is why he is saying that we are hearing him very very important now when we turn to chapter 1 of the book of corinthians we are going to ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു 
in a word will paul say he said from this standpoint that is without bringing in christ into the center of that situation there is Christ no real remedy ah sahajanangalde madhyathile kondu varada matri yadar pokku valiyillayirun yes so we see here you know many many but a group wala group ne nammal kaanunnundu yes and then paul says in the last chapter that ingane parayunu he says is christ divided bhagikapattirikkunuvo was paul crucified for you crucikapattuvo very baptized in the name of allah paulos in the name of you you are washed so paul is saying the here paulos parayunnathu the, the foundation and the center is ana kendravum adu pole adisthanavum the challenge is is christ the man making the value of christ vibhagikapattirikkunu yes those unhappy and deplorable conditions Be- he saw very clearly and therefore he said is deva janangalla madhyathulla dharanamaya dukhakaramaya aa sthithiye than kandirunnu adagondana christu vibhagikapettu adu than chodikkunnu and as we read through the bible he says it's because of the nature pakkuvadeda koravannaanu than parayunnu because of that baby measure of life in you i say your babes in the divatinte jeevante alavaanu nenu kaaranam nu parayunnu you know that baby kind of saishava almiya jeevanamaanu nenu kaaranam you know you are never moved on the divatinte ningal aa pakkuvadeyilekku valarnittilla mich the immaturity is is the uh, matter that you continue to be in permanent karma ningalde abakkuvadeyana in other words what is the parna the spiritual eye was ningalde aalya kannugal anthamayi theernirikkunu their spiritual eyes were blinded to the truth of the word aalya kannugal anthamayi theernu endu kondana you know why shraddhayoda kalam listen carefully their eyes were blinded towards christ because their eyes were occupied with other avarude kanna christune sambandhichirathol andhamayi theernadinte kaaranam mattulla pala kaaryangalalum avar pidikkapettu ennadayirun now sela just sela rajendran cheyuga let the holy spirit tell us namale sahayikka maragatta you know we see the real ivide aanu nam yathartha prashnathe kaanunnathu korinthiya samayilulla the hell sabhe christu unda and they are and the sabhe ellulla christuvine he is to be the center of their life kendramai kaanuvan but their spiritual life is not in the kannal andhamayir endu kondanal because they were occupied with thangala jeevathil mattu pala kaaryangalal avar pidikkapettirun matra pala kaaryam things christuvin mel aayirunnalla avare kannu now this is the danger we namada jeevathil ee aavathu vara you know wherein we are also ee aavathu namukku vai theeruvan kai our eyes are not able to behold christ because our eyes namada kannu kal mattu pala kaaryangal aayirikkunnathond christuvine kaanuvan kaiyatha varai namukku maara Yes now coming back to this present we have our tamana this was avajan thile namu kadannu varam you know we read here let me read that hmm. verse 11 for it hath been declared unto me of you my brethren by them which are of the house of chloe that there are contentions among you now this i say that every one of you saith i am of paul and of apollos and i of cephas and i of christ 11th verse let us look sahodarmare ningalde idayil pinakkam undennu chloeide aalukala nee karivu kittirikkunu ningal oru oru then ഞാൻ പൗലോസിന്റെ പക്ഷക്കാരൻ ഞാൻ അപ്പല്ലോസിന്റെ പക്ഷക്കാരൻ ഞാൻ കേഹാവിന്റെ പക്ഷക്കാരൻ 
ഞാൻ ക്രിസ്തുവിന്റെ പക്ഷക്കാരൻ എന്നിങ്ങനെ പറയുന്നു പോൽ ഇതെല്ലാം നിങ്ങളുടെ അപക്വതയിൽ കാരണത്താലാണ് താൻ പറയുന്നു ക്രിസ്ത്യ ജീവിതത്തിന്റെ കാരണമാണിത് അതുകൊണ്ട് താൻ പറയുന്നത് He says these men are standing between you and Christ. Whether it is Paul or whether it is Cephas or it is even Apollos these men are standing between you Paulos and Christ. Patros ayalum Apollo ayalum yes. നിങ്ങൾക്കും ക്രിസ്തുവിനും മധ്യത്തിൽ നിൽക്കുന്നത് പൗലോസ് വിസമ്മതിച്ചു ഈവൻ ദോ ഹിസ് നെയിം ഉൾപ്പെട്ടിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിലും താൻ അതിന് വിസമ്മതിച്ചു and said this is not acceptable ഇത് ക്രിസ്തു അംഗീകരിക്കുന്ന കാര്യമല്ല എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ട് അതിനെ നിരാകരിച്ചു even my own name cannot stand between Christ and you നിങ്ങളുടെ മധ്യത്തിൽ എൻ്റെ നാമം കൂടെ നിൽക്കുക സാധാരണ മനുഷ്യന്റെ നാമം അവിടെ ഓരോവാൻ പാടില്ല അത് അത്രയും ശക്തമായ ഒരു വചനമായിരുന്നു how much such a word is necessary today നമുക്ക് ആവശ്യമാണ് വിശുദ്ധന്മാരെ saints of god You know when we are out of focus of Christ our flesh moves into all our lectures till our hearts are marred by him all matrulla pala karyangalile ad vedi jalichu po and we are not free yeah, from this danger nam mukthan mar alla please yan parna vaadhi ningal sadhyode edukka if we are not focusing on Christ this is where Christ we all should be sadhe kendriyirikkunnillengil ee sthanathu naam vetti chera Yes. The names that Ivana Paulos ubhayicha a perugal represents a personality adu kaanikkunnathu or vyaktithva samuchayathayana in the midst of the people of the world or vyaktithva samuchayathayana adu kaanikkunnathu it could be a personality complex adu vyaktithva samuchayamaga or it may be because that apollos taught them in a different way they had a bomb with this reason they were padipichad ayirikam ingane ullo oru chindeda kaaranam but the reality was there was a complex and all our mindsetil angane ullo oru and that stood between the fight and the end ayirunnu or wo un masiyorke beech mein khade hoyi adu was that was in the its effect was all of a very vyaktamayam you know the result was to obscure adinte parinjalamai christuvine kaanan kaiyada avar andharai theernu christuvine marachu kalanu you know to obscure christuvine avarnu marachu kalanu so paul had to come out with his own way to paulus ninnu he says i would have none of it for you if you want to grow christuvine valaruvan aagrahikkunnengil ee kaaryathinonnu yaadru sthanam illa endha so he had to speak valare vyaktamaya kaaryangale thanikku thannodu avarodu parayendi vannu You know the irony of the situation was Not only there was a group of Paul and of Apollos and and Peter but also there's one group that was But I'm talking about the Virodha Bhasam Paulos and the group and Patos and the group and Apollos and the group matram alla Christo and the group undai That is the Virodha Bhasam You know the irony was that there was a group that called we are Christians or a group out and that was the Virodha Bhasam You know even though they said they are of Christ it was all by the strength of the flesh a spirituality our Christians or whatever and parnjengil thane adella vannittu aa jadathinte shaktiyum adu pole jadathinte day or almiyade vayil No that sounds great isn't it we are of Christ Christians or whatever and avar parnu but that is not the that the almanal ulpadithama idayirunnilla that sounds very adu kenda pole nannai thoniyengil thane but it's not that the almanal ulava idayirunnilla you know paul therefore says that i would not have any kaaryangal onnu njan sweekarikkilla endan parayunnu yes 
I would not have this. I would not allow this. Yes. I am concerned about this. Because all these embodied a work of the flesh. The soul. The soul. The soul. The soul. The soul. The soul. Prana Manishandayam These schisms and divisions was a product of the flesh, the natural man, a spirituality after the flesh. Yes. And saints, we must be concerned about this. Spirituality after the flesh is unproductive and would not help us to progress. Yes. So Paul had to really come very strongly saying, Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized? Oh, Paul was strong. The saints. You know, for many problems in our lives, the real, the reason for those problems is that our eyes are off Christ. Yes. Many things which have begun so well. Yes. Which was so good in the beginning. Which was marked by the work of the Spirit. Yes. Now it's moving all the time. And as we saw the group here, there was a superiority, you know, a group with superiority. And they said, we are of Yes. But it was not the problem. Yes. So it, when we say that we are of Christ, the real issue is how much of Christ. When we say we are of Christ, the issue is how much of Christ. Now that's when they said we are of Christ, they lacked the measure of Christ. How much of Christ was not there? Means that it was nothing of the spirit of Christ in what they said, we are of Christ. You understand what I am saying? When we say that we are of Christ, the real question is, how much of Christ? And Paul could see that in that group, who claimed to be we are of Christ, there was no real measure of Christ. They were When Paul looked at their lives, there was no measure of Christ in them. 
The spirit of Christ was not evident in what they confessed. Saints, now listen All these would have a ministration to all of us in our you know, we, we know who God has called us. We are, he has called us to We all confess that. We all confess that. We are talking about maturity. We are talking about growing. We talk now about Christ's life. Now we need to really look into this. What measure of Christ? Christ? Now we are talking about Christ's life. Many a time, our measure is numbered. I have been here for this 30 years, 40 years. I have been here from the time of so and so. You know, Saint, that is not the measure. It's the measure of Christ in us. You know, if God is separated, we have heard His voice. And we believe that He has called us to be His sons. He has called us to be His sons. Called us unto sonship. Airship. So this is what we should be So Paul was so there was there were these group of okay, So it's not what we say that <laughs> we are. <laughs> yes. But the the <laughs> <real> <laughs> issue is it's not that I've been here for so many years. But how much of Christ? How much of Christ? This is the real test. It is a challenge to me, to you, to all of us. As I was talking to someone, as I was sharing and he was sharing, he, was sharing, he said, you know, in reality, we see God's hand Mercifully bringing us to what we appreciate. One time. Saints of God, I want to share this with all of you. It's a matter of. Coming in. You know, it is a matter of coming into those things we have heard in our lives. So in all that they said, Paul could not witness the spirit of Christ. Yes. The plumb line and the plummet is Christ. Where the straightness and the crookedness is determined. As we read about the plumb line in the hands of Zerubbabel, you know, we need to realize it's Christ himself by which the straightness and the crookedness will be determined. So we see that, you know, Paul brings in the example of the church in the wilderness and tells the Corinthian believers how careful they ought to be that having brought out 
you are to be marimbhumilulla sabhaya aa korinda sabhayode parayumbo yes naan parayna ningale veliye kondu nannadalla ennal ningal etrathola munkottu neengi ullil pogunnundu nannu kaaryam so we see paul brings christ Agel along christune avarod kooda kondu varigana cheyunnu in the whole journey israel nangalde aa yathrayil ella you know their focus was to be upon avada shraddhayum kendra binduvum aa samagama anugudaramayi irikkanam undayil and they were to hear the voice of the trumpet avar aa kaagala shabdam kelkkandam undayil you know so we see how paul is bringing christ to the center of the lives of these believers in corinth orinde vishwasigalde madhyathilekku christuvane kondu nannana nam ivada kaanunnathu as i said there were many issues there pala prashnangal undayirunnu many pala chodyangal undayirunnu pala sahajaryangal undayir there were questions of marriage vivahathe kuriche chodyangal undayir so non marriage a question on sex yadra allathore kurichu adhe pole sex you know the mixed marriage adhe pole misrada vivahathe kurichu vastra dharanate kurichu there was a questions on hair mood vada upayogikunnane kurichu there were questions on men and women how to behave streelam purushanmarum sabhayil perumaarana ingane pala chodyangal undayi questions on the table of the lord മേശയെ കുറിച്ചുള്ള ചോദ്യം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു കുറിച്ചുള്ള ചോദ്യം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു പല വിഷയങ്ങൾ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു പല പ്രശ്നങ്ങൾ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു Yes and while Paul was he addressing the Bishopon Jean Paul Paul Paulos you know he brought in Christ Christ along. Along. Yes. the Christ and the Mathiyathilekku Yes the final criterion in every man la kaariyathilulla antima kaariyam how does this accord itself ee kaariyangal ella christuvinod engane bandhapettirikkunnu adayirunnu chodyam how much it is in the marriage of christ christu etratholam unde christuvinte alav etratholam unde you know so this is the real issue my yatharta prashnam devajaname to what measure this would be concerning christ what i mean karyangal christuvina christuvina kurichu etratholam sambandham ulladam so we see paul challenging them bringing in christ what i'm trying to say is brothers and sisters if our center is christ we will have christuvane kondana avare vellu vilikkayirunna paulos christu aanu nammalde jeevathilinte kendram engil in a time i have heard from the time that i was born again christ is the answer namak uttaram lebikkum christu aanu nammude uttaram adana naan veendi janicha sabayil ninnu enikku manasilaakkan kazhinjathu everybody used to say christ is the answer enna ellavarum parayumayirunnu but i want to tell you Christ is only answer when he is the center. ഒരു കാര്യം ഓർക്കണം ക്രിസ്തു നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിലെ കേന്ദ്രമാണെങ്കിൽ മാത്രമേ ക്രിസ്തു നമുക്കുള്ള ഉത്തരമായി Rather than just saying Christ is the answer പറയുന്നത് കൊണ്ടായില്ല Which is the truth undoubtedly but he can be the answer only when he is the center of our life നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതങ്ങളുടെ കേന്ദ്രമായി ക്രിസ്തു മാറിയാൽ മാത്രമേ താൻ നമുക്ക് ഉത്തരമായി മാറുകയുള്ളൂ ദൈവം നമ്മളെ സഹായിക്കുമാറാകട്ടെ ദൈവജനം so when we look at you know the situation ഉള്ള ഈ സാഹചര്യങ്ങളെ നാം കാണുമ്പോൾ yes the church here in their journey to the marubhumi yatra എന്ന സഭയെ നാം നോക്കുമ്പോൾ you know we see their practical matters our daily anadana jeevathulla prayogika karyangal you know in a world like this we are living jeevichu kondirikkunna ee varthamana logathil you know, there are so many challenges that we face in our own lives today we face many vellivaligale nam neridunnunda you know in many times our minds would go the way the world is going nammada manasu povunna ee logam chindikkunnathu poleyana age parthe nam vesi kambi age parthe yes 
How the world is fixed? How the world is fixed? How the world is fixed? Des, des. No, no. How the world is des. How the world is des. This dunya karte hai. Yes. I didn't quite catch that. Could you please say that again? Sorry. My theory went into action. All right. So we see very clearly that in our own lives, many a time we are prone to go the way the world thinks. In the life of the people who live in this world, they are going to go. How the current, present world would become. You know, that's the way many a time. 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 We do not go the way that Christ or the Spirit of God would tell us. Yes. 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 And that's why we cannot go by our impulses. The best way is to withdraw. Withdraw yourself. Don't come under the pressure. You know, many a time, the tactics of the enemy and the world is to make you you know, do it fast or do it quickly. In this world, the world is a big deal. In this world, we are not able to do it. You know, pressure on us. We are living in this present world. And our life in a world like this, we, we, we see that we are prone, we are pushed to Go the way the world would go. Or the world would think. Yes. But we are not going to go. We need to be drawn. We need to come back to the world. We need to seek the Lord. But I see that this is where many of us we really make Yes. We cannot go by what even many Christians are doing. We cannot think like many others think. You know, I see this amongst Some people go and leave. Come back. I Don't stone me. But I'm telling you. I'm not telling that everyone is like that. But if the cap is fitting, you please wear it. My point is that this is seen. Our thinking changes, our language changes, our attitude changes. This is a dangerous trend. Yes. Yes. You know, it's a dangerous trend. So we all have to be careful in our lives. I share this out of love to all of us. Not only, only to those who are present here, but even those who are not present here. In this place. And hearing us. You know, because it's a, it's, it's, it's a reality of the world. We cannot even think like some other Christians. Some other believers are all. One thing that we should be caught up is that, is this Christ? Is this Christ? Is this Christ? 
Yes. Now it's very interesting to see when we turn to the book of and chapter 4 I am just reminded of this Ephesians chapter 4 Verse 17, in the chapter 4, Paul talks about our calling in Christ Jesus. He speaks about, you know, walk worthy of this calling, the fivefold ministry, growing up into Christ, speaking the truth, correcting and all that. And then he says in verse 17, he says, This I say, brethren, and testify in the Lord, that he henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in vanity of their mind. Yes. 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 Now why is Paul saying do not walk like the Gentiles in the vanity of their mind. The way they think, the way they do, he says that is not the way we are to think. You know, and that's very, very important for all of us. And I would like to read, if possible, from another translation. Let me see if I can. Yes, he says in verse 17, in NLT it says, With the Lord's authority, I say this, live no longer as the Gentiles do, for they are hopelessly confused. You see, the world is confused, but not you. Do not, with the Lord's authority, I say this, live no longer as the Gentiles do, the world would do. For they are hopelessly confused. Many a time we think all their decisions are so wise. Yes, they are wise according to the world. But I want to tell you, the wisdom of God is much higher than the wisdom of the world. Yes. So this is a reality. As I was uh, sharing with somebody, he sent me this, you know, on WhatsApp. Daniel's friends were thrown in Daniel the fire. And it was, you know, uh, heated up seven times. And the reality was this, Christ and was Christ with them. Christ was with them. Yeah. Yes. No one was with them, but Christ was with them.
You know, many a time, so I was just sharing with this brother that many a time our walk is lonely. <laughs> Though we have the whole body with us, have you seen yourself to be alone? In some of your trials, and in some of my trials, I know that I'm alone. God is living in He is working, but remember, when you are alone, he is with us. That's one thing we need to realize. Nobody else's presence would help this. Even so finally, the fire was fired. The fire was fired. You understood uh, that language? The fire was fired by the very presence of one man. So we need to realize this. That we are not to be like the Gentiles. You know, we need to, this is what Paul was burdened about. These believers in Ephesus. He says that, then he says, I will read from the NLT. It says, uh, their minds are full of darkness. They wander far from the life God gives because they have closed their minds and hardened their hearts against him. They have no sense of shame. How true it is. They live for lustful pleasure and eagerly practice Every kind of impurity. But that's not what you learned about Christ. See that? Yeah. But that's not what you learned of Christ. You know, in other words, he says, This is not what Christ is. This, this is not what Christ is. Christ is different from what we see in the world. I would like to just read that from one more translation. So I, this I say and solemnly affirm together with the Lord as in His presence that you must no longer live as unbelieving Gentiles live. In the futility of their minds and in the foolishness and emptiness of their souls. Yes. So we see here, saints, we cannot, we cannot allow our our lives to go after the way the world would think and do. Yes. And verse 20 says, But you did not learn Christ in this way. In other words, this is not Christ in our lives. This is not Christ in your life and mine. Do you understand? Yes or no? And I lose all of you. Please, my brothers and sisters. So, as Paul says here, we cannot, we cannot be like the world would think. We cannot do like the world would do. But we need to see Christ, His will, His way, His mind. Yes, yes. It's not even the matter how wrong it is. 
it's not a matter of wrong and right innocentayum seriyayum karyam alla but it is the matter of christ nalade christuvinte karyam aanu it is the matter of the spirit of god idu devathinte parishuddhaatmavinte karyam who reveals to us his will and mine kartavinte chindaya manasine nam velippadunna parishuddhaatmavinte karyam aanu tande hidathinte karyam aanu it is the matter of his purpose in our lives tande uddeshathinte karyam aanu nammude jeevithathil amen amen may god help us that this is for our daily life they you know, namale sahayikkumaragatte idu nammude anudhinu how much we are pushed to think like our friends other believers and even our relatives nammude jeevathil palappolum bendhukale pole adhella relatives ne pole okka nam etrathalam anurupharai theerarundu you know i want to tell this again to all of us the time is come ipol time aa samayam vannikkilla parayavan agrahi would always pull us its way logam eppozhum ee logathinte valiyilekku nammal valichu vekkanda ee logathinte valiyilekku ee loge logathinte moolyangalilekku to its lifestyle ee logathinte jeevitha shailiyilekku the world will logam but the end of that nal adinte avasana is as we read in the word of god devachanthal kaanunnathu pole destruction adinte antya nasham aanu yes so we need to take this word very seriously into all our lives aagal nammude jeevathile vadanathe valare you know many a time devo bodhodu nam swigarikkanam i see that people are upset when we say we will pray prarthikkam ennu parney kayumbol palappolum anegar aswasthrai theerarundu so people think anegar chindikkunnathu one of the things that these brothers use to save themselves avar chindikkunnathu ee vaak raksha vedunnathinulla or vaak aanannaanu anegar karudunnathu bachane ke liye aapko bachane ke liye bol raha hu ഇത് നിങ്ങളെ രക്ഷിക്കാൻ നമ്മുടെ തീരുമാനിക്കുന്നത് നമ്മുടെ പഠിത്തത്തിന്റെ കാര്യം തീരുമാനിക്കുന്നത് വിവാഹത്തിന്റെ കാര്യം തീരുമാനിക്കുന്നതൊക്കെ വളരെ എളുപ്പമുള്ള കാര്യമാണ് ബന്ധുക്കളൊക്കെ ചെയ്യുന്ന ക്രിസ്ത്യാനായിട്ട് പലരും ചെയ്യുന്ന അതാണ് യു ലുക്ക് ലൈക്ക് എ ഫുലിഷ് മാൻ അവർ അങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ അങ്ങനെയാണ് പലപ്പോഴും നാം ജനങ്ങൾ തങ്ങളെ കുറിച്ച് ചിന്തിക്കാറുള്ളത് you know that's the way the world would think of god's people anganeyana logam ee devajanangale but remember one thing you are possessor of a greater wisdom anal ningal oru why don't you accept that athin avagashigal aanu ningal marakku why don't you accept that i'm challenging you today in the name of the lord inna karthavinte naamathil naan ningale vellu vilikkiyana endukonde idhe ningal swigarichu kuda don't forget the scripture it is not just for memorizing is not therefore you know in some situation christ is made unto us what christ wisdom namaka gnanam he is the wisdom ennathu why don't we take that wisdom into our lives nam manapadamai padikkenna oru vajanam alla nalla namakku aa christu enna gnanathe namakku sweekarikkanam now i know that it's a challenge before me namakku ummulla oru velli challenge in my own life enna jeevathrulla oru velli velli ulliyanu it is easy to tell you but i have to the challenge in my own life and all ende jeevathil idu velli velli uliyana ee velli uliye swigarikka njan thalpariya padunu why don't you really pray in your daily prayer ningal i have your wisdom prarthichu kuda 
I have your wisdom in my life, Lord. For you have been made wisdom unto me. And your word says, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of me. But how less we have gone to him to knock at the door and ask for that wisdom. Saints, the world is in confusion. And the world wants you to be in confusion. Remember, we are a people with destiny, not because of what we are, but because of what we are in Christ. It is so it's a matter of Christ in us. Coming back again, saints, it's a matter of Christ. How good it is to remind ourselves in our everyday prayer and confess to ourselves, Lord, I want this life to be in Christ today. Help me today, Lord. I do not want to be pushed around with the world's ideas and its ways. Yes. With its thoughts. Now, remember one thing. When we talk about things like this, there is a thought here. And I know some of you are thinking. You know, but in the wilderness, there is nothing to do. They don't have to go to office. They don't have to go to school. Our school is not there. Our school is not there. Husband is not there. Husband is not there. Husband is not there. But let me tell you one thing. The reality is. Christ is our sufficiency. Number Don't eight. forget that. Yes. And that's why Paul brings this wilderness to the church in the New Testament. It is not a matter of just Old Testament wilderness. But here in this world, we are in a wilderness. Amen. This is what Paul is telling to the believers who are living in a cosmopolitan city called Corinth. Corinthia cosmopolitan city le daamsi ke na jenengalada Paulos parai na idan. Saints, therefore, we have our education. Namukka namada vidya pa. We have challenges before us. Namukka ombel veli veli. Of our future admissions. Namada our future jobs. Namada our future jobs. Namada our future jobs. Then what do you think? Namada our future jobs. Namada our future jobs. What do you think? Christ cannot be our wisdom. Namada our future jobs. 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 Namada our now this is where many a time we are found. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would like to go the way of Christ. Very less people and believers would so saints, the real issue is the measure of Christ in our lives. Now, now, our life is not a matter of what we are. Our life is a matter of what we are. So coming back again to the children of Israel in the wilderness, the tabernacle was at the center. Which would mean to us in the New Testament, Christ has a central place 
in our lives. It's Christ not just a, a kind of objective thing, but it's a subjective reality. Remember that. When you say that he is as the central place, means he is always in view. Yes. Amen. Always in view. You know, this should be a subjective reality, a consciousness by which we have to live. Yes. Amen. Oh, may God help us. I tell you what we are hearing today is not some lecture on certain things from God's word. But we are hearing God's word for our lives. Yes. I tell you, I have shared with some of my brethren and my sisters, bring in Christ. Bring in Christ. Sometimes we are fearful to bring Christ. Because he will demolish everything else. So we are fearful to bring him. But I want to tell you, bring him in. Bring him in. And I want to tell you, things will change. Things will change. Things will change. Quietly. All right. So we see very clearly in God's word the need for Christ to be in the central place. That would mean he is in view. You know, for some of us, by and large, we see this. Christ is viewed only on Sunday. He becomes little more closer on Saturday onwards. Or some only on Sunday morning. And then on Tuesday evening. On sometimes on Wednesday. Very rarely on Saturday morning. You know, so, see, we, we see this. Oh, you, we may be all praying in the morning. For, but that prayer is for some other reason. The train should run, the bus should go, and there should not be any accident on the way. So that's a different thing. That is not Christ being focused. See, but to be conscious of this, you know, it's a different thing. And I will urge you in the love of Christ today, Bring him in in your daily life and see for yourself. And remember, God has given you his wisdom. And we will live by that wisdom in this world. Yes. So we see that the central place would mean always in view. Conscious. Yes. Now, as I said, this is only one side of it. The other side is, as we heard, the sound of trumpets. The voice of the Spirit. Amen. These two are necessary. It's not only enough that, that I send around Christ. But there is also the sounding of the trumpets which are necessary. I am not going to take a long time. I see your faces. I will not take. And oh, he is now going to trumpet. <laughs> what is going to happen to us? Right. That's very true. Yeah. But please pray for me. Uh, the book of Numbers and chapter 10. You know, uh, Numbers chapter 10, I won't be long here. And, uh, we read here a couple of verses. I want to read verse 2. And make two trumpets of silver of a whole piece, 
shalt thou make them that thou mayest use them for the calling of the assembly and for the journeying of the camps. Okay, we will not read in Hindi. That's our time. Asking. Verse 8. And the sons of Aaron, the priests shall blow with the trumpets and they shall be to you for an ordinance forever throughout your generations. Verse 9. And if you go to war in your land against the enemy that oppressed you, then ye shall blow an alarm with the trumpets, and ye shall be remembered, and ye shall be remembered before the Lord your God, and ye shall be saved from your enemies. Right? Verse 10. Also in the day of your gladness, not only war, but in the days of your gladness, in your solemn days, and in the beginnings of your months, ye shall blow with trumpets over your burnt offerings, over the sacrifices of your peace offerings, that they may be to you for a memorial before your God. I am the Lord your God. So in all these verses, we see one thing very clearly, that God expresses his mind concerning his people. Yes, so what is, you know, the meaning of this? You know, allegorically or symbolically, what would the trumpets uh, speak to us? It speaks, as we have seen, it speaks about the place of the Holy Spirit. You know, so we see the trumpets have a very important place in the Bible. As we saw from the book of Numbers, when we go to the book of Revelation, we see there. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, we read. Or oh, verse 52. A very important scripture to all of us. In a moment in the twinkling of an eye, and at the last trumpet, trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. So we see how important is trumpet in the Bible. It has got a very important place. And I'm going to close now. So listen very carefully. In the wilderness, the function of the trumpet was to sound an alarm. You know, and every sound has a meaning. They said it's to call a solemn assembly. You know, to call the others. You know, to call uh, them into a battle. For the feast that they were to celebrate. You know, to order the camp for their journeys. So, all these trumpets would mean different, different things to them. Different things to convey to them. You know, so the trumpets were very important and integral part of Israelites in their journeyings, in their day-to-day -day life. Israel yeah. yes. So when it is said about the trumpets, it presupposes an ear to hear. It presupposes an ear to hear. You know, if there is no hearing ear, you know, suppose there is no hearing ear, there is no sense of hearing, 
കേൾക്കുന്ന അപ്പോൾ ഈ കാകളെന്ന് എനിക്ക് യാതൊരു അർത്ഥം ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കില്ല If there is no hearing ear there is no sense of hearing the trumpet has no meaning kelkuvan kariyina cheviyum adu vale kelkuvanulla shaktiyum illengil ee kaahalathinu yaadar arthavum illa amen now all that we are sharing today from god's word has no meaning if there is no sense of hearing ella kaaryam in our lives deiva shabdam nam kelkunnilla engal adinu yaadar arthavum illa you know all that god has spoken over these one and a half hours ee onnara manikur deiva nammalodu samsaaricha kaaryangal illa it has no meaning adinu yaadar arthavum undayirikkilla no meaning at all അതിന് യാതൊരു അർത്ഥവും കേൾക്കുവാനുള്ള ശക്തി ഇല്ലെങ്കിൽ കേൾക്കുവാനുള്ള അതെല്ലാം വ്യർത്ഥമായിരിക്കും അതെല്ലാം വ്യർത്ഥമായിരിക്കും അതാണ് മരുഭൂമിയിൽ കാഹളത്തിനുള്ള അർത്ഥം ഇഫ് ദർ ഇസ് നോ സെൻസ് ഓഫ് ഹിയറിംഗ് നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ കേൾക്കുന്ന ശക്തി ഇല്ലെങ്കിൽ for the lord to speak kartava nammalodu samsarikkana phalapradam alla you know if there is no hearing ear kelkana javi illengil it's unprofitable for god to speak to us deva nammalodu samsarikkana phalavath alla amen the sense of god as i'm going to close and avasani pikkan poanu isudhanmar i know what you heard ningal endanu kettathu enikku ariyathilla but i can see the travail of the spirit amongst us nal namada madhyathulla devalmaavinte aa bharat enikku we may have our own agenda namaku avara sondam what to do kaya parivarana kondayirikka meet your priorities namaku namada mukhyathangal kondayirikka nobody can change it namada mukhyathangal namaku kondayirikka i want to tell you this nal devathamukku parayadu നിങ്ങളോട് ഈ കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഞാൻ പറയുന്നത് ദൈവ സ്നേഹത്തിലും ദൈവിക അധികാരത്തിലും കേൾക്കുവാൻ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ശക്തി ഇല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇറ്റ് വുഡ് മീൻ നഥിങ് അതുകൊണ്ട് യാതൊരു അർത്ഥവും ഓൾ ദാറ്റ് ഗോഡ് ഇസ് സ്പീക്കിംഗ് ഇസ് ഓഫ് നോ യൂസ് ടു ദൈവം സംസാരിക്കുന്ന സകലവും ആ വ്യക്തിക്ക് യാതൊരു പ്രയോജനവും ഉണ്ടാക്കും സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് വൈ ഗോഡ്സ് വേർഡ് റിപ്പീറ്റഡ്ലി സേസ് അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് ദൈവവചനം വീണ്ടും വീണ്ടും ആവർത്തിച്ച് പറയുന്നത് യു നോ ദീസ് ടു തിങ്സ് ഈ രണ്ട് കാര്യങ്ങൾ പറയുന്നു കാതുള്ളവൻ കേൾക്കട്ടെ ഇമെ He that hath an ear let him hear kaadullavan kelkkad but what endana but what to hear endana kelkkandathu what the spirit is saying aalmaavu sabhagalodu parayunnade the important trumpet that he is sounding is the voice of the spirit avasanamayitta deivam prapadichu kondirikkana a shabda the important trumpet he is sounding is the voice of the spirit namada namada mathathile kelpichu kondirikkana a kaagalathini aalmaavinte shabda the trumpets were born uh, 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 were blown right at the entrance of the tent of testimony oru kaaryam markarathu markarathu saachya koodarathinte vaadillana kaagalam thonippikkapettathu at the entrance അത് ആ സമാഗമനോടാർന്ന വാദുക്കലാണ് ധ്വനിപ്പിക്കപ്പെട്ടത് ഇവിടെ ഞാൻ അവസാനിപ്പിക്കുന്ന ശബ്ദമാണിത് വെളിപ്പാട് പുസ്തകത്തിൽ നാം കേട്ടതുള്ളൂ ഒരു ശബ്ദം കേട്ട് ഞാൻ തിരിഞ്ഞ് ആ ശബ്ദത്തെ കാണുവാനായി you will not miss him ningal kelkunnu engil theerchayum i want to encourage you avane ningalde jeevithathil kaanadirikkilla 
the way we lived in the past kaiyana naalgal naam jeevichathu pole ini jeevikkarilla this life is life of changes idu maatrangala undaagenda oru jeevithamaa it is a life of transformation idu parivartanangal undaagenda jeevithamaa and let's be willing to be changed agal nammada jeevathil maatrathil namukku thayarullavara let's be willing to be changed നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ മാറ്റത്തിന് നാം തയ്യാറുള്ളവരാണ് ഈ വചനത്തെ നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിലേക്ക് അതായിരിക്കട്ടെ നമ്മുടെ
sufficient not be in vain. May God help. I need this word. Every one of us, his children, we need this word. It's a great challenge to bring all things unto Christ and see the measure of Christ in our lives. How easily we slip into daily routines of Christian life. devoid of that consciousness of the focus and centrality. Not only that, what he has to say in our everyday life. Trumpets. The voice of the Holy Spirit. Hearing what he says. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, may God help all of us, brothers and sisters. That we would not turn back to the former ways. As Paul says, put on Christ therefore. Put this Christ on. In Ephesians 4 he says. Put on that mind. Put on. Put on. May God help us. I want to tell you these are truly challenging but blessed days. For those who hear, may God help all of us. Remember, He has your wisdom. You have His wisdom. Lord, we can only say, Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord for all your counsels to us, to bring us to a place of acknowledging how true your word is, to bring in Christ in every situation and to hear what he has to say to us. Oh God, how clear your word is. The trumpet call is so very clear this morning. Oh God, we want to give ourselves to all that you have spoken. The clarity of the word, Lord, the impression that the Holy Spirit has placed upon our hearts. We see our own lack of conviction many a time, a lack of failure to hear and to appropriate your word. But this morning, Lord, you have spoken 
in very clear terms. In every situation, Lord, to bring Christ into our lives, to bring Christ into that situation. We fail to do that many a time. And we are in confusion. We are double-minded. We do not know the way. We turn the wrong way. Because, Lord, we have failed to bring in Christ. It sounds so simple, Lord, to bring in Christ. But it's the most difficult thing. We have seen it time and again. A failure, Lord, though we know what we are to do, we are unable to do that. We look around us and see what others are doing. It seems so good, the wisdom of the world, but the wisdom of the world is without Christ. And therefore, Lord, it's, it's of no use. Lord, anything in this world without Christ in the center is of no use. Oh God, we know it in our minds, but it has to get right down deep into our hearts from where it has to spring forth in every situation. Help us. Oh, we cry out to you this, this afternoon, Lord. We cry out to you for help. And surely our help will come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Surely you will help us if we cry out to you. We see right in the Psalms how the psalmist cried out to you, Lord, for help. And every time he cried out, help came. Lord, we know that our help comes from you. You will never, Lord, close your ear to the destitute, to the one who is in desperate need of thee. We are in desperate need, Lord. Lord, to put into practice all that we have heard. Lord, in our situations, there are so many, many situations. We do it in one, but we miss the other. We do it in another, but we miss the next one. But Lord, it ought not so to be. We are to bring you in every situation. And we have to listen to your voice to say what you have to say. For you will tell us, this is the way, walk ye in it. You will give us the direction. You will give us the right way. So help us, Lord, help me. Help us in this present situation. And Lord, even as we heard the parallel of the Israelites, how they face the tent, the tabernacle, Christ has to be in the center. Of all that we think, all that we do, all that we say. Lord, remind us. Let the Holy Spirit, Lord, bring to our minds again and again, over and over again, our need of God. Oh, let this be a revelation, a truth that gets deep down into our hearts. Lord, we pray that you would write these things in the table of our hearts, that we may not forget it, Lord, we are forgetful people. Many a time we forget what you say. We do not remember these things. We remember other matters. But when it comes to you, we do not remember. Lord, give us that memory, that mind to think of you. Even if we forget everything else, we may not forget, Lord, to go back to you. For you have the words of eternal life. And, O oh God, we pray that there will be changes, transformations in the coming days in each of our lives, and we would begin to live Christ and Christ alone. And walking in the way, Lord, by which we have heard you clearly speak to us, help us. We cry out to you for grace and mercy. And, Lord, we trust that these are days when, Lord, you would pour out your spirit of grace upon us. That through that spirit of grace, we would live that life that you have called us to live. Yes, O oh God, we thank you. We thank you that spirit of grace is available to us, even this day as we have called out to you and cried out to you. We thank thee and praise thee and bless thee. In Jesus' name.
most precious name. Amen. Let's be seated.